still kind of squishy. I finally had an accident. Well, good day. That hole is blocked by the I-25 overpass. The highway goes. The other 2% is calcium, iron, magnesium, and a little trace elements that are good for you in moderation. What is that? What is that? That thing I just described, what is it? Tell that cave. Oh, it is. Yeah, the water. This is called cave ice. Yeah, the, the water. It starts at the water. I already described that. That's a room pool. Oh, yeah. 98% clear. Look how clear the water is. You can see down in there. Yeah. There's a little so bit of here right problem, I think. Maybe. Or oh, maybe not. But the stuff around that rim pool is called cave ice. It starts off as a thin layer of calcite crystals floating on the surface of the water. You can't touch it. The only thing you can Why touch is water. Why do you keep touching? Mom, look, it looks like sand. I know. Okay, I record. I'm trying to look where my feet are. Yeah, here. Do not throw up my phone. I know, I won't. Well, the other was open to the surface. All of them are now sealed completely to the surface. I don't like it. Oh, that's bright. Do you want me to do it? Oh, no, we got it. Water flooded in. Okay, never mind. You can do it. And often the cavern was flooded to this level. When it was, dang. I hope that was dang. <laughs> The waves lapped up slowly against the ceiling, weathering and eroding. Yeah. Carved out those scallops. They're called spelians. Because a lot of people have touched it. Gross. Now, those are literally the thumbprint of the surface of the water embedded Mom, in the rock so cool. of the ceiling. That is really cool. Look at the hole. Look how big this is. If you look up, right look here. for the holes. This is bone sink number two. Did die. What? Obviously, it's 44 fell on different them. species of Ice Age animals died. Oh, that's not. We found their bones. Eleven of those species are extinct today. The rest are still with us in North America, still sitting on the tour guide. So there's no water in it. We will do two It's also a cold question. Look like he's levitating. Me and Gianna did his bestie thing on the um uh thing, and mm -hmm. she guessed a lot of mine right, and then I guessed like barely any of hers right. Uh, from Star Wars, it's like John. You got three wrong. Uh, yeah. Imagination can do interesting things in a cavern. In a couple weeks, patience. <laughs> If you get hungry, there's plenty of cave crickets down here. It's a low fat protein source. Oh, can we cook them? You can. Okay, then let's cook them. Because at the um, candy store, they got. This is called the Inner Cathedral. Or the Cathedral Room because of that vaulted or slightly domed ceiling. The ceiling is made of that absorbent Nova stone. And that's why you don't see a whole lot of drip formations on it. Except along this large fracture that goes the length of the roof. So you better hurry up. And that crack lets just enough carbonic acid through to form some soda straws and stalactites. Now we have 55 feet of solid rock from this to the ceiling. And a train passes right about here. So I don't know the train schedule, but it does occasionally pass while we're in here. If it does! So, the Laubach family, the owners of this cavern and the land above it, looked out across this landscape and said, you know what, I bet when we get to the moon it looks a lot like this. Nah. They called it the lunar landscape. So yeah, 1966 we opened, three years later in 1969 some people land on the moon and send back pictures. Does not look like the it. The family looks out recording. across this again and says, you know what, mm -hmm. it does look sure nothing like this. Thanks, babe. <laughs> that's why they called it Imagination Station, because now you can just let your imaginations run wild oh, there's a monster. what these look like. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of does. Oh, sorry, that sorry. might look okay. like a giant shark. Oh, that does. Hey, John, do you see it? Yeah. And that's it's got the people on that battleship a little worried because he's bigger than they are. Oh, yes. Yes. The captain is saying, we need a bigger boat. <laughs> and that bigger boat right there, the bow of the Titanic. Oh, oh. 
Rose. Jack and Rose on Jack the bow. Jack and Rose are on the bow. <laughs> oh my god. Creepy guy behind him, the cameraman taking light readings so we can film that scene for the movie. <laughs> Before they slam into a sphinx shaped iceberg. Ooh. <laughs> glacier. But that's not really ice. And it's not really a glacier. Glacial caves have no drip formation. Sadly enough. Well, yeah, use your imagination. On that cave dolphin. No. And on the back of that dolphin? A mermaid. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. And shoulder blades, her head, her hair going down between her shoulder blades, the water rolling down that dolphin's body. A little more cave bacon. That leads to the rare cave bacon I butterfly. I don't want to eat that bacon. It's extra crunchy. <laughs> you will chip a tooth. Yeah. Well, like bird bacon. And why I'm we don't bacon. bring food into the cavern, Jack Bigham's corn dog fell out of his oh back pocket God. in the heavy mist when he thought he was being attacked by a giant shark. Wow. In the 50 years since, that lot. corn dog that looks like a rat now because it's become entirely calcified that was a real is corn still dog? there. No. It looks like a real corn dog. Corn dog. Is that true? Total lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a normal like, calcite I, I was like getting, I was like, oh my gosh, really? That's really cool. Little, little <laughs> little <laughs> yes. Is there some roll reversal? You got a stalagmite on the top instead of the bottom. Ooh. You got a stalactite on the bottom instead of the top. But the stalagmite still grows up as a stalagmite should, and the stalactite still Amari. grows down as a stalactite should because it's about water flow. Uh, join it. <laughs> Wherever the drip started on the ceiling, just having to catch the edge of that gigantic duck foot. Oh, yes. Don't know if it's Daffy Donald or Howard. He had a mess up Sorry. And the last thing I show you in this room over here. It's not a room. I'm going to put my flashlight at half an inch behind these structures here to show you the translucence of calcite crystals where it was in little space. I keep hitting people with my elbows and flashlights. I'm sure it's not pleasant. <coughs> Personal <laughs> space. But they glow. I'm not even touching it. The light enters, bounces around in all directions, and exits in all directions. Lights it up like a Christmas light. Oh. Kind of like a Tibetan salt lamp. Yeah. There you go. Instead of salt, I hear the salt gives off a little bit of something, ionization or something to the air that actually helps you feel better. The calcite might. Now, a little more cave bacon that looks a lot better when my light is not on it. That looks raw. That looks delicious. <laughs> Isn't this the way that we came? A natural bridge in New Braunfels, South Austin. Goes down about 275 feet below the surface. It does look like a bone over there. That's a giant bridge. And this is not why we call it the Lake of the Moon. Over here on the other side of these structures, there's a volcano! Smaller crescent moon shaped rim pool. Mm hmm, looks like a little volcano. Hey, volcano! Oh, look at the moon! Right next to Bigfoot's foot tree. Oh, it's funny, it's Bigfoot does live down here. Yeah, it's erupting yeah. water. It does? It's a volcano. It's a volcano! It's a volcano. It's a volcano. It's erupting water. water. There's a squid! Oh. It's actually called a chandelier. Multi stalactite structures are called chandeliers, but we think it looks enough like a squid to call it the cave squid. Over here above my head is some pristine cave bacon. Uh, bacon. Fat back. Bacon. I love bacon, but I do not like this one. I said pristine, which means no, perfect. Not pristine, which means pristine. I guess. <laughs> now, let me see. We will likely not be able to do total darkness because those two people behind us really close left the lights on up there. We're going to find another place to do. Hey! Excuse me. So that is my special word for total darkness. So if you hear it again, that's what it is. But before we leave this room, you say goodbye to what? Oh my God. That sounds like a little sarcasm, and I don't want to garbage. <laughs> oh 
Someone wants to leave. I'm so sorry. I think he doesn't look very good. There is some candy in the snack bar. Maybe some cockles would be better on your stomach, though. A little queasy. This humidity does make some people feel a little sick to their stomach sometimes. I often get to this room and there's like, like this five or ten seconds where I'm like, oh, oh I should have eaten some. And then it passes mm -hmm. and we're okay. But we say goodbye to the table. Me too. <laughs> He's winking at us. He's got a runny nose, a lion like nose. Runny because he touched ten patients down too, and that is his mouth. Horrible bacon teeth. <laughs> but he's kind of a flower child because he was discovered in the oh, 60s. Like <laughs> he likes peace. Mm -hmm. Peace loving you. Yes. yes. Way over their heads. Some of these, so some these jokes the are not <laughs> age appropriate. <laughs> For real. No, we don't do shadow puppets.